Just a quick trivia question: Which is your your worst, or which do you feel, according to, I mean, based on your static analysis experience, which is the toughest vulnerability to identify, or class of vulnerabilities to identify? Ah, uh, that's a that's a tricky one because it depends on the application you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. now, I would say something really difficult to identify for static analysis in general: it's backdoors, mm -hmm. and it's probably for every okay. security tool. Uh, okay. it, it's not necessarily a vulnerability. I wouldn't call it, it's not a type, right? So I don't know if it's fair to answer the question that way because uh, the way I like to put it is backdoors, it's perfectly written code. It's perfectly secure code that does really bad things. Uh, they will right. not let credentials and validate it to go through. So mm -hmm. backdoors are, are nearly impossible to find. But if I mm -hmm. were to choose one of my favorites that it's somewhat tricky to find by by some tools and SAST is really good at, I would say probably like a blind SQL injection. For for DAS, it's quite difficult to get a blind SQL. For mm -hmm. pen testers, it's all about the timing and trying it and retrying it and do this progressive mm -hmm. stage uh, query. While static analysis can just look at it and be like, hey, it's yeah. SQL writing to SQL. You're not sanitizing mm -hmm. data. That's mm -hmm. a blind SQL injection. Or a, I think some people call it a second order SQL injection. Depending on, yeah. on where you're looking at, which place you're looking at it from. So I think that's an interesting mm -hmm. one for static analysis. Is it the most right. difficult one? I, I don't know. I have my engineers to tell me which one is that. I'll, I'll have to go back to them and ask which one do you hate the most. But it has to be something in JavaScript. Definitely something it's in JavaScript. It's probably cross-site scripting is what I'd imagine. Because I can't imagine actually having a very... I, I can't I, mean, I can't imagine being too confident writing a cross-site scripting, identifying static analysis rule myself. I mean, unless Agreed. it's like dangerously set in our HTML or something. I mean, something obvious like that. Yeah, uh, but I think it depends yeah. on the framework. And some frameworks yeah. will, will will have a good time of saying you just disable the cross-site scripting protection. It's just right there on the tin, cross-site scripting protection, and you set it to false. Yeah. Uh, but in some of them, just like you said, it'll be difficult to, to find it out because you're getting the data from somewhere, you're passing it through a different application layer, and then you bring it back out, print it yeah. back to the user. So it's it's difficult. But a it's lot of It's probably worse with DOM based, I think. With DOM based, it's probably even worse. Yeah. I, I would struggle to tell which one is the worst, but there is a there is a chance cross-site scripting is out there. I mean, yeah. on the other hand, cross-site scripting is amazing for dynamic analysis. Dynamic analysis can just rip your application yeah. to shreds with a yeah. million different encodings for, yeah. for the payload and find stuff. While static analysis will be like, I don't know if this renders or not. I think it does. Yeah. It prints stuff out yeah. to the user. I was like, maybe. But, I think there are too know. many interaction touch points, I think, with cross-site scripting, which is why I would imagine that that would probably be the worst. Because I can't, I can't imagine being very confident writing a uh, Process scripting rule. But yeah. anyway, oh. A lot of yeah. frameworks are doing a lot better. I'll just say this, you know, a shout out to whoever has been building protections into their frameworks for cross-site scripting and some of the big really big vendors have been doing this. The browsers themselves, you know, they're they're a lot better at saying like, hey, hang on a second, you're trying to execute another JavaScript. They're like, nah, hang on a yeah. second. You know, give me yeah. a second. So I think people are getting better at that. The one I would like to absolutely see gone if it was after my preferences would be, you know, just fill out the, the SQL injections. Uh, you know, Bobby Tables has been around for a long time. Uh, little Bobby Tables. <laughs> you know, if you don't know who Little Bobby Tables is, you <laughs> might you might want to look uh, look at that, but you will want to do that. Yeah, yeah.